When the new Congress convenes next year, immigration policy will be back on the front burner. A decade after George W. Bush outlined his strong vision on the issue. I covered the two terms he pushed for a comprehensive immigration reform, including what he believed was a fair, reasonable path to citizenship for some of the 11 million illegal immigrants in this country. With Bush, it all collapsed on the Senate floor in July of 2007 because of members of his own party. In recent weeks, Senate Republicans, including John McCain, killed the DREAM Act that would have given those who had been brought there illegally by their parents a path to citizenship. Joining us now, Congressman Javier Becerra, Democrat of California, and Joe Barton, Republican of Texas. Thank you so much for joining us here in the Situation Room. I want to start off first by playing a clip. This is from the president. He left for his vacation. He talked about all the things that he had accomplished over the last uh, two years, but uh, specifically the lame duck Congress session. But there was one regret. Take a listen. But I will tell you, one, uh, maybe my biggest disappointment was uh, this Dream Act vote. This last decade, immigration reform essentially has been lost. Where does it stand now? What should Congress, the new Congress, do to move this issue forward, immigration policy? I'll start off with you, Congressman Becerra. Suzanne, I think uh, what the president said was true for many people. A grave disappointment to see the Senate, even though more than a majority of the senators voted for the bill, see it die because a minority of members were able to kill it. I hope what we do is go where the president said he wanted to go, and that is to reasonable reform continue what we started and try to get enough Republicans to make it happen because as President Bush said and as President Bush tried we could do this it's just a matter of getting some good bipartisan support and not playing politics with the issue how do you do that Congressman Barton what what do you put forward in the new Congress well you've got almost irreconcilable differences between the two political parties Republicans like myself think you have to start with controlling the border and having an enforceable legal immigration policy. My good friend Congressman Becerra of California uh, wants a more lenient policy where, where we're not as particular about whether they come into the country legally or illegally. And so we have that basic sticking point, the difference between legal immigration and illegal immigration. Well, Actually, Suzanne, I, I'm not sure if Joe has it quite correct. I, I'm willing to be tough. Uh, and I'm not interested in having a system where we allow people who don't do it the right way continue to come in. I'm just willing to face the facts, as I think the majority of Americans are, that we've got 11 million people. We've had record numbers of deportation in the last year, close to 400,000 people. And at that rate, even with records being set, it would still take us probably 80 years uh, to get to where we need to go. So the reality is you have to come up with a rational approach. What Joe is proposing... Uh, really won't take us anywhere because even under Republican leadership in the House and in the Congress and even when we had a Republican president we didn't do what uh, Joe says he wants to do which is to control the border so that's like a moving target which never gets you anywhere I think both sides actually there are enough members who want to do this the right way tough smart but fair and we can get there so Congressman Barton let's let's start off here obviously President Bush tried to do everything all at once and it failed within his own party they rejected it it was comprehensive so you had a guest worker program you had ID verification working for the border can this be done piecemeal is there a way that Democrats and Republicans can agree on one particular issue to move immigration policy forward to deal with the 11 million illegal, illegal immigrants who are here yeah I, I think there is a way uh, you know, I, I would vote for a, uh, uh, a much expanded uh, guest worker program where people came into the country legally uh, for specific periods of time, either for specific jobs or at least for general trades. Uh, most of the unions in the United States don't support that type of a policy. What, what people like me have to insist upon, though, is that you come into the country legally. You know, I took my family to the movies yesterday. Uh, we paid six bucks or seven bucks a piece to go into the movie. We just didn't walk up to the ticket window and say, we're here, we're good people, let us into the movie for free. And all these folks that have come to the country illegally, they have committed an illegal act. And we have to recognize that and come to grips with it. Once we determine politically how to treat the people that are here illegally, then the rest, I think, will fall into place. Congressman Becerra, are you hearing anything from your fellow congressmen here that, that uh, 
it indicates to you that there is some room here, some movement on this very controversial issue that the two of you can work together? Yes, uh, th there is, although I, I think Joe's got a Specifically, him. What, what is it that you're hearing? He's saying there's a way to try to get people to come here to do it the right way. I wouldn't say that we should op offer them only an opportunity to come as guest workers because that simply means we exploit their labor, keep American wages low by never letting these folks ever become part of America. They become essentially second-class workers because they never can quite get to where they need to go to have all their rights. But there's something there because we certainly continue to see immigrants coming. And what we can try to do is figure out a way that we can deal with trying to make sure that anyone who comes into the country, we want them in, but then deal with the fact that you've got about 11 million people that we have to do something with because they're living in the shadow and that's where the terrorists can really cause us some mischief because they can hide behind those who hide in the shadows. Congressman Barton, there's some Republican strategists who say, you know what, we really don't have to deal with immigration reform policy at all, that it's just not that important. And they, they cite something politically. They say, you know what, with the shellacking that President Obama got uh, for the midterm elections, uh, we don't need Latino votes. Uh, we already have managed to, to have a lot of power without the Latino vote. Is that a good strategy? Is that something smart for Republicans to think of it that way? Well, I, I've never heard a Republican strategist uh, enunciate that policy. Uh, we want all the votes, we being the conservative Republicans, that we can get. We consider a uh, Hispanic uh, uh, vote uh, a key cornerstone of our base. Uh, my most conservative voters in my congressional district down here in Texas tend to be uh, Hispanics. They're very family-oriented. They're very work, uh, uh, you know, very strong work ethic very conservative uh... I'm, so I'm, I'm very open and very I, ha I used to have a hispanic advisory committee in my congressional district uh... it doesn't make sense as the majority party to try to exclude or to ignore any voting bloc that's as, uh, as strong and as conservative as the hispanic voters are in texas congressman becerra one of the reasons why we're seeing a dip in illegal immigration uh, coming into this country it's because of the recession, because there really aren't those jobs that are out there for people uh, to, to go and, and to fill. Are you worried at all as the president becomes more successful, as the economy improves, that you're going to have uh, an increase in, in illegal immigration again, that this problem is going to become bigger? It becomes bigger, Suzanne, the more we allow employers to violate the law. Remember, there may be a violation of the law in the immigrant who comes into the country, but that's preceded by the violation in the law that occurs by the employer, the American, who's willing to hire folks illegally in, in this country. And so what you have to do is turn off the spigot. You have to close off the magnet that attracts people to come in because when you can make in one hour what you can make in parts of Central America in a whole day, you're going to come to this country if you can. I don't blame them for trying to make it here. We just have to have a reasonable system that allows us to control our borders. But we have to, we have to be practical. There are okay. 11 million people here already. Need to work on that as well. All right. We'll see if uh, the two of you can work together in, a, in the new Congress, obviously, to come up with something that is considered reasonable to both sides. Appreciate you being here in the Situation Room. Happy Thank holidays. You. Thank Happy you. Happy holidays.